Hello everyone. Uh, I hope all of you uh, are following our channel and uh, seeing the videos, uh, the different video lectures that we have been uploading uh, on different topics in the field of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Our main aim is always to make sure that we present all our content with a lot of clarity and depth so that it will help you to build confidence and then tackle uh, complex AI and ML projects on your own. Uh, today, I want to speak a little bit about uh, the research side of things. Um, in case uh, you want to read research papers, you want to stay up to date about the recent developments uh, in AI, there is a workflow that we wanted to share with you. Uh, this is something which becomes really important if you want to stay track of this rapidly evolving field of AI and ML in which every single day some new and new publications are coming up. And instead of always staying behind on the track, reading from someone else, hearing from someone else. All of you should be able to basically uh, keep track of the recent developments on your own and have your own thoughts and opinions about them. So the first uh, step of this workflow is to go to this website called paperswithcode.com. Uh, this website hosts a lot of papers in a very organized way. At the top, you can see there are three sections, top, new and greatest. If you click on greatest, you will see uh, the papers in AIML which have really made a lot of impact on the overall community. These are the papers who have literally advanced the whole field ahead. And they, they are very popular uh, among researchers and students. On the right, you can see the number of stars uh, that uh, the GitHub uh, associated with that paper has received. So uh, it means that these are the really popular papers and you can go through these papers as well. The section which I like the most is this top section, which combines or balances both the things, uh, the papers are recent and the papers have got a decent traction. For example, if you look at all these top papers, they have been released quite recently. And on the stars, on the right, you can see the number of stars are also quite decent and they are picking up every single hour. So this is the first step of the workflow where you have to go and find the paper that interests you the most. These are all the recent papers which they have clubbed inside one section so that it becomes very easy for you to understand which paper you want to look at. Let's say I'm interested in this paper which says Sapiens Foundation for Human Vision Models. I like that this paper is by Facebook Research. I also like that this is in the human vision field which I am passionate about. Let's say I click on this. Uh, there is a PDF, there is an abstract, uh, there is a data set and a GitHub repo as well. If I click on PDF, I'll be taken to this link where it has a PDF of the entire paper. Now I can sit down and read this paper, but let's say you don't have that much time or you want to get a brief overview and uh, a conceptual understanding of what is happening in this paper. So uh, what's the right way to achieve that you you don't just want to read the abstract but you want a proper gist of what's happening in the paper but without having to read all the pages by yourself and i myself was looking for something like this a while back uh, i had the idea of people listening to uh, audio podcasts and whether we can apply the same to research papers people listening to audio podcasts i've seen are uh, more focused they can concentrate uh, on the audio rather than the text and their focus period is the attention time span is typically larger as compared to reading from a textbook and it turns out that it is possible uh, there is this uh, recent uh, google experiment uh, called illuminate which exactly does this what illuminate does is that it will basically uh, it will take the pdf of your paper and it will convert that into a very interesting and lively podcast between two people engaged in a conversation about that particular paper now how to do that it's it's very easy all you have to do is that you have to copy the pdf uh, you have to paste it over here click on this plus sign and click on generate uh, i have already created uh, several uh, audio format uh, of 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 different papers and i want to take you through one of these so let's say uh, sapiens foundation for human vision models this was the same paper which I was looking at from papers.withcode.com. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just click on play and play this for some time so that all of you can get an understanding of how this works. Mind you, you have to apply for the wait list and it probably takes one or two days for Google to accept and then you will be able to upload the papers.
The key idea is to look is Today we're diving into a paper titled Sapiens Foundation for Human Vision Models. This research explores the development of a family of models for four fundamental human-centric vision tasks, 2D pose estimation, body part segmentation, depth estimation, and surface normal prediction. What are the key challenges that this paper addresses? The paper tackles several challenges in human-centric vision. Firstly, existing methods often struggle with generalization to in-the-wild data, especially when labeled data is scarce or entirely synthetic. Secondly, complex systems designed to boost performance for individual tasks can hinder wider adoption. Finally, obtaining accurate ground truth annotations in the wild is notoriously difficult to scale. So how does this paper propose to overcome these challenges? The paper proposes a unified framework and models called Sapiens that address these challenges. I hope you understand how this works. And uh, basically you can uh, hear this, this like a podcast while, while doing some other work on the side. It will make uh, your processes way more efficient. You can basically go through research papers quickly. Uh, while doing some other tasks at hand as well. Uh, so just to summarize, there are two steps to this workflow. The first step is to use papers with code.com to identify the right paper. The second step is to uh, go through the paper, read it. If you don't have enough time, then you can use uh, AI tools like this Illuminate experiment to create an audio podcast of this and then listen to the podcast uh, as well. Uh, Okay, thank you so much, everyone. I hope this video uh, helps you in your research journey apart from the coursework you have already been doing from the channel. Thank you.